Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, Grace, as I have said plenty of times this week, I've only seen snow like three times in my life. Yeah. So next week is going to be a trip for me. It is. And we're also going to have mm -hmm. feels like temperatures in the negatives next week. And yep. Georgia said she's never experienced that before. Nope. <laughs> That's okay. Welcome to North Alabama. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Let's start with this weekend. At the moment, as you're waking up, these temperatures sitting in the upper 20s and low 30s. But don't be fooled. We still have a gusty breeze and most of us are feeling like the upper teens. So bundle up if you are heading out the door. The Way 31 Sky Cam Network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. Slightly de deceptive with those temperatures. 615 and 31 triple Doppler. Not deceptive at all. Looking clear and good to go as we will for the rest of the day today and tomorrow. However, by the time we get to Monday, that narrative changes quite a lot. By the time we get to 10 a.m., temperatures will be in the upper 30s and then our high temperature for the day, making it to the mid 40s. That is well below average for this time of year. So the gloves, the hat, the scarf that you want this morning, keep those with you through the rest of the day because you're going to want them. Your Sunday high temperature, even colder, just 37 degrees. And when you wake up in the morning, we're talking about the low and mid 20s. So prep for several days of very, very cold and very, very windy conditions. And then prep for snow. We do have two more consecutive 31 alert days in effect ahead of snow and slick roads making their way to the Tennessee Valley. This starts at 6 a.m. on Monday and lasts through noon on Tuesday. Depending on road conditions, we may even push that back. Much of the valley is in blue is also in a winter storm watch for Monday already. And I would not be surprised if this gets upgraded to a winter storm warning, winter storm advisory in the near future. All right, let's get to future radar. What's been on everyone's mind? Snow will start to push into the shoals around 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. The system is tracking east, so that means areas north of the Tennessee River and west of I-65 will see the strongest concentration of snow. It builds throughout the afternoon and gets stronger in the early evening. So what I'm telling you now is if you live south and east of Huntsville, your morning commute to work is fine and good to go. Your evening commute is anything but. So if you can work from home on Monday, if you can leave at lunch on Monday, the earlier you can get back to where you plan to spend the night, the better and the safer you will be. Snow stays with us through the overnight hours and then pushes out in the wee hours of the morning. Now I am still tracking the position of a lower level jet. That means this forecast could alter slightly. However, at the moment. This is what we're looking at for snow totals. Areas east of I-59 will see just trace amounts of snow building to one to two inches in the Huntsville Metro, including Decatur and Moulton, and then anywhere up to five inches in Lawrenceburg and Lauderdale County, and even in parts of Colbert County. So this is going to be a snow event. This forecast is not a bust, and I really want you to plan ahead and prepare. The other thing we're talking about is absolutely Arctic temperatures. Some of the coldest we've seen in about one year's time. The good news is we won't have very strong of a wind, so that is just the slightest bit of relief. But I'm going to stay on this 10 day for a while because we have a lot to talk about. It's sunshine today, colder temperatures and clouds tomorrow, morning snow into the afternoon and especially during the evening on Monday. A touch of that could last into the very, very early hours on Tuesday, but what will definitely wash over is the travel impact. So don't expect this to be out of our system by Tuesday you'll still wake up Tuesday morning and likely have impacted roadways. When you wake up on Wednesday morning, those temperatures will feel like close to negative four degrees. So this is the weekend that everyone needs to go get some extra water bottles in the house, get some non-perishable foods. If you have a home, a backup generator would be a great thing to have. Extra batteries, flash flashlights in case of loss of power and extra blankets. That's all in store this weekend. Now I'm not telling you this at all to scare you, but I do want you to be prepared. We're going to be right here and I'm not going anywhere until this system gets all the way out of our way, but take this time to prepare now. Definitely. So